y'all. Hi. What it do? What it do, baby? Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jayla Mitchell, also known as Natural Brain. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. Click the notification bell so you don't miss my new uploads. All that jazz, all that jazz, all that jazz. Okay, so today I'm gonna be telling you guys about updates to uh, my natural hair routine because some things have changed and I don't know if I've always made it crystal clear. So this video is really for clarification. Some things I may not have ever mentioned. Some things I did mention, but it's like in one video and then if you want the other video and you piece it all together, I just wanted this to be like a place that you can come and say, oh, I know her normal routine, but this is how it's changed type of deal. I hope that makes sense. But yes, so changes I've made to my natural hair, we're gonna get into it. So the first one, it definitely came as a surprise to me, and this is why. I was dead against pre-pooing. Like if you've watched my older videos, I mentioned like pre-pooing is so pointless. I don't see why people do it. They're basically moisturizing their hair just so they can strip it of moisture and then re-moisturize it after with like a deep conditioner or a conditioner. So I just really didn't get the purpose. However, as my hair has gotten longer, y'all, as it has got some length to it, I like to pre-poo now. Now, my pre-poo method is unconventional, but what would you expect from me? Honestly, truly, what would you expect from me? I'm never doing things exactly the way they're supposed to be done. I'm always inventing new ways or things that I like better. So when I am pre-pooing, I typically pre-poo with a co-wash. I know that sounds so weird, but it has to be like a moisturizing, Co-wash. Now I can pre-poo with aloe vera. <laughs> me and aloe vera are like this gang, 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 like no gang affiliation though. But it's me and me and aloe vera are like this. So I could definitely pre-poo with aloe vera, but I really like to pre-poo with a co-wash because it helps me detangle my hair. So if my hair is super matted or, you know, just helping me with the detangling process because there's so much more hair on my head. You know, back in the day, it's like, you know, I ain't even got a section this bad boy. Now it's like any step that I can can take to make it easier for me I want to take that step and doing the pre-poo with the co-washing it doesn't take that long honestly I will pre-poo while I'm already in the shower and that'll help me detangle so I'm using that co-wash while I'm already in the shower it helps me detangle and then I will go in with a shampoo okay so I will use a co-wash first and then I will shampoo my hair because I really want my scalp squeaky clean. I mean, it don't have to be like squeak, squeak, er, er, but I want it clean, y'all. So that's number one. Number two, I'm really not sure how many of you guys are like OGs, oh, like how many of you guys have been following me since the beginning. But if you have been following me in the beginning, then you know that I always used to mix aloe vera and water in my spray bottle. I currently don't do that anymore. And it's not because there's anything wrong with that. I need to go back to it. But let me tell you what my lazy self did or didn't do. I always used to get the big jugs from Walmart of the aloe vera, right? I ran out one day and then I just never bought any more. It's been like over a year, y'all. That is ridiculous. That is the epitome of laziness. It worked so well in my hair. My hair absolutely loved it. And I said, dang, I'm out. That's crazy. And it's not even expensive. Dang, I'm out. That's crazy. But that is something that I'm thinking about putting back into my routine, but I'm just letting you guys know as of right now, it is not currently in my routine and it has not been in my routine since I ran out of aloe vera that one time. So number three is I don't really condition, not to be confused with deep conditioning. Those are separate. Those are not the same. They are not equal. I don't want to choose favorites, but I think I already did. Instead of conditioning, I deep condition. It's still a type of conditioning, but the deep conditioner is better. Every time that I shampoo my hair, every time that I wash my hair, I will be going in with a deep conditioner. I kind of feel like conditioners, what is the purpose? You know, like you can shampoo, condition, and deep condition, but I feel like you don't have to do that. Skip the middleman. Just shampoo and then deep condition. Make sure your deep conditioner has good slip and you're in that guy. And I really used to do this. I used to shampoo, condition, deep condition. I was like, this is dumb. This doesn't make any sense. No shade to anyone who still does it or really likes doing that. It's just not for me. 
personally. And I haven't gone back. It's been a while, y'all. I just, I shampoo. If you watch like my wash days and stuff like that, you'll notice a lot of times I'm not using a conditioner. I'm using a deep conditioner. Shampoo, deep conditioner. Co-wash, deep conditioner. It is a game changer. It basically saves you the time and it has all the benefits. Why would you condition? Like if you're gonna skip a step, skip the conditioner not the deep conditioner. Don't say I'm just gonna shampoo and condition because I don't have time to deep condition. Shampoo and deep condition and skip the conditioner. Like, <laughs> from me to you and from the heart, do what you gotta do. I don't even know if you guys remember this. I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I'm telling you now, so you can't say you didn't know anymore. Number four is I used to, back in the day, I don't know how far back in the day, I used to shampoo once a month and you're probably like girl that's disgusting okay hear me out but i used to co-wash every week so i would co-wash week one week two week three and on the fourth week i would shampoo i've been delivered that's what i have to say about that i've been delivered once a week i shampoo now that is the change instead of co-washing one, two, three, for three weeks, and then on the fourth week, shampooing, I pretty much shampoo every single week. I think it's really important to get your scalp clean. If you need to wash your hair more than once in a week, that's when I would recommend that co-wash, or you can do like me and co-wash your hair as a pre-poo. Those are just the options, but y'all, that was something that I used to do, and it worked well, but I feel like shampooing once a week works even better for my hair and also you gotta move with the flow like if your hair switches up you gotta change the program i started to notice that my hair even though it hadn't done that before it was doing some stuff it don't normally do and it was getting more build up on my scalp quicker and it was at that moment i realized i gotta shampoo more because i don't like this i didn't sign up for this you feel me nobody can quite disrespect you like your hair you know, it's a different type of disrespect and it's personal because I grew you. So how are you gonna do this to me? If there wasn't nobody on your side, it was me. I nurtured you to health and you wanna act like this. I would say I would disown you, but I want the hair on my head, so I'm gonna keep going. Number five, this should not come as a surprise, and that is I use gel now. If you are an OG, you know that I was known known should have won an award for my no gel wash and go okay i was a known for that bad boy and i still dibble and dabble however these days i tend to use gel in my wash and goes and this is why using a gel your wash and go will typically last longer that's it i know y'all expecting more oh what was the reason it lasts longer and you know, I wouldn't necessarily put myself in the lazy natural category. However, I have lazy natural tendencies. Sue me. All right, so number six, I don't know if y'all noticed this or not. It's just something I started doing. And if you pay attention, you can definitely see it because unlike, you know, oh, I decided to use a co-wash to pre-poo now. That's something you wouldn't know if I didn't tell you. However, if you watch my videos, you saw the change. I, I want to know, did you see the change? Okay, let me just tell y'all. Let me, let me stop playing with y'all. Okay, I do mostly middle parts now. How about that? Ain't that some stuff? I didn't see that day coming. I'm gonna be honest with you because I was a side part Sade and I didn't see it coming. However, there was a reason for my madness one, it was kind of my way of switching it up. But more than that, I stopped cutting my bangs, which I guess you can technically put that at, you know, number seven, but we're just gonna group it all in number six. I stopped cutting my bangs to maintain my shape. I'm kind of just letting it do whatever it is that it wants to do until I get tired of it, then maybe I'll cut it. You know, I don't really have a certain goal. I just wanna see what happens, you know? And with that being said, my bangs are longer which means they get in my eyes and do crazy stuff, which means the middle part is the best for me because the side part bangs be whole eye gone, whole eye gone. I don't even think it was intentional. One day I was like, I'm gonna try middle part. And then I was like, oh, that looks cute. Oh, this is easier for me. Boom, so middle parts became a real thing for me. I don't know if y'all noticed that. Wow, 
This is just so funny to me because I'm definitely supposed to have a middle part, but my hair has other ideas. I'm just gonna ride it out, you know? Okay, y'all, so I really hope you guys found this video helpful. I was just trying to think of like the questions that I get asked the most, basically. Like I'll get in my DMs, do you still do this? Do you still do this? And now I'm telling y'all what I still do and what I don't do anymore. And I hope that gives you a better grasp and it's all in one video so you can reference this and be like, oh, okay, she don't use aloe vera no more, but she wish she did. So maybe I should try aloe vera or something like that. I really, I don't, okay, yeah. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.